guys, welcome to another Off the Great Wall food adventure, my favorite type. So today we're gonna to be exploring one of New York City's new trends because like myself, you've only heard of hot pot, but not dry pot. So today we're gonna to take you guys on a culinary adventure where we compare Chinese dry pot and Chinese hot pot. Now both of these styles use the same raw ingredients and are both spicy, but that's where their similarities end. So come with us. All right, so first we're gonna take you for some dry pot and mala project in East Village. And then we're going to head off to Hometown Hot Pot and Barbecue in Nolita. I'm so excited! <laughs> this is the first time here and I have had it. Yep, and it's freezing today, so it's perfect for hot and spicy food. I'm so Mala Project! Mala Project! So my name is Chloe. I'm um, PR here. I do marketing and branding too. The name Mala, Ma means um, numbing, La means spicy, so we're super focused here. Dry pot, actually, you customize the ingredients and then the chef, they make it in the kitchen. Compared to hot pot, where it's you know, so festive and it needs everybody to participate, actually, for dry pot, you can enjoy it alone. So it came from a little town in Chongqing, Sichuan, in China. People um, live in a very moist um, environment there and they have plenty of vegetables. What's up guys? So we're at Mala Project in the East Village and I cannot believe we're sitting in front of all these amazing spices. Yeah! <laughs> it's like when you walk into those Chinese herbal stores and you're like, what is that? Who knew that they put so many of these ingredients in to what we're going to introduce to you, dry pot. There's no. actually 25 to 27 mm -hmm. spices. And so for example, we have dried mandarin, mm -hmm. mandarin peel? Orange peel. Female ginseng, <laughs> as Females. opposed to male ginseng. Some bay leaves. Mm -hmm. Some cinnamon. Cloves. Star anise. Licorice root. Cumin. Dried galangal. We That's did pretty it. well. <laughs> Peppercorns and pot peppers yeah. and some stuff I've literally like kibbles and bits. Yeah. Like I don't know what that is. Yeah. Yes. You pick 12 ingredients. Mm -hmm. And they're going to prepare it and then bring it out here for us to enjoy. So mm -hmm. we can't wait guys. Mm -hmm. This is all so in here, me. first we have what the appetizers. Oh, appetizers yeah. for uh, leftover rice, mm -hmm. and then we have sticky rice stuffed lotus root, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and some fried pepper with thousand year egg. Yeah, yeah, so they have some bomb appetizers. This is so unique because all the ingredients we picked is typically what you would put into a hot pot. Yeah. When they cook it, because it's in a wok, mm. like I feel like all the spices, you could just see like it surrounds mm -hmm. the ingredients. Yes. I'm gonna try the beef first. Yeah. So it's still kind of eaten in a style that you would eat in you know, a hot pot. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So when you have like a one person portion, it'll be smaller than this, right? This right. is like a party mm. size tray. Well, from the menu, it says here, for one person, you pick three to six items. Yep. Two people, eight to 10. We have 12 in here. So okay. we got beef tenderloin, yep. hinoki mushroom, king oyster mushroom, fish balls, bok choy, some noodles, bok choy, fish filet. Mm. Like right now, my mouth, the flavor is dancing. Mia and I haven't had dry pot before. Mm. So what do you think is the biggest difference between this and hot pot? So hot pot, when you eat the ingredients, it feels like just, you can tell it's just the ingredients, but here, everything is just enveloped with all of these herbs and the things that we saw earlier. We got a spice level of just spicy. You can go extra spicy. I would suggest yes, getting yeah. the hottest one. This isn't that spicy. I don't think spicy. it's going to be that bad. <laughs> Guys, you have to try this lotus root. Mm, lotus root me up. They have a lot of really unique appetizers. Like they have chicken testicles. So we politely decline. <laughs> politely decline. I was about to say the same thing. What else did they have? Duck neck, pig but ear. One of the major differences in the selection to me is in dry pot, if you like innards, there's just more of an array of innards. Yeah. Because for a lot of these innards, you cannot boil it. Yeah. Because it doesn't taste good. 
Okay, hey, that lotus and root is interesting. Thank you. It's so good. It's I like didn't know sweet, that it's cold. Yeah, a little sweet. sticky. And then this leftover mm. rice mm. is legit. Mm. Mm, those peppers are legit. That's so good. It's like yeah. sour and spicy and oily. <laughs> so good. Like dripping. <laughs> oh my god. All of my the taste is... buds are activated right yeah. now. And then why sweet, did you? <laughs> spicy. I don't know why I did that. Yeah. Oh my god, that rice is legit! Yeah, it's legit! Why is it called leftover rice? I think it's typically like fried rice is leftover anyways, because you take like day old rice. You know what this tastes like? Mm -hmm. A rice version of cha gui tiao. So, I definitely think this is so much more flavorful, like it packs yeah, a definitely. punch. All the the condiments that they've used, mm -hmm. you can really taste everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's just something special about Hot Pot that cooking I- Cooking it yourself? Cooking, no, just the whole the thing. The whole atmosphere with- I don't know what it is. Family and friends. You know what it yeah. is? It's an experience. It yeah. is. It misses that community element. Exactly. Right? Dude, speaking about community feeling, <laughs> people who are not double dipper, <laughs> they mm. would hate See well, like how, mm -hmm. how we eat this. I used to be really bad at like mm. picking it up and being like, no, nah, I don't want this one. Oh, that's a really bad chopsticks manner. Is it? <laughs> yeah. They say you shouldn't do that because it's the same as rummaging around a grave. Also, for adults, they see that you don't have manners. Bad because, manners? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you're picky. <laughs> but they're just like, no, I'm nope, definitely changed. That, that was when I was little. I don't like when people give stuff on my plate. I'll just be like, let me get it myself. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, why well, you you like that? Because like I mean, polite. Respect. It's it's whatever to me. As the person giving, it's just because I want to show like I care about you. Yeah, so I'm and you get she it takes for care you. of us. Right. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> you never feel like it's gonna be me. The meaning is like you're sick of it. Me would be like, let's say you have a big thing of halal. You're like, mm. I can't. After like five minutes, you're like, I'm done. Dad. I want to try the egg. Like I've never eaten this without porridge. Eat it. Oh, okay. it's really good. You don't like the thousand year old egg? Putting it on see, my plate isn't gonna see, change anything. See, she put it on your plate, and as a sign of respect, you have to eat you. it. You really don't. It looks like oh, a. Oh my god, we forgot about the fish fillet. Oh, oh my fish fillet! Oh my god, oh my god. That's Where is it? You're we gonna, you're gonna die. It. That's it right it. there. It's Actually, Australians call it fish. Fillet. Fillet. So now you guys had dry pot with us. We're gonna take you guys over to hot pot. Woo! <laughs> Jumping right in. Okay. Let's start again. This oh my god. So the one thing here is the flavor combinations. Yeah. Think about it. You got your tom yum, you got your curry, you got your tomato. Yeah. I mean like every soup is gonna taste different. Because I think each ingredient will be highlighted by yeah. different broths. I agree. Yeah. In front of me I have the curry, Dan has tom yum, mm. Mia has some spicy mala. Yeah, there's what? like all this chili sea. Oh yeah, that's mala. Appropriate spot. <laughs> and then in this like little tripod, there's the herbal mm. soup. The tomato, 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 and, and the original. Yep. I realized the steam makes you like just completely hungry continuously because it's just always boiling in front of your face. That's a really good point. Yeah. Because the other, the dry pot was so aromatic when it first comes out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like this one, it's just like great smells. <laughs> Holy cow, the curry one is a revelation. Do you know what it, it reminds me of? It smells like laksa. Yeah, mm. it's, it, it, Wait, what is this? That's a stuffed tofu. tofu. When you put it in the curry pot, it reminds me of like ro dipping it, like the roti. In yeah, the, yeah, the roti in the laksa. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. It sounds so funny for me to hear you guys say roti. What? Roti. Uh. Roti, that's, that's how you R say it, people. Roti? <laughs> roti chanai. Any in seafood in the tom yum is... Tom Yum, huh? Funny. <laughs> yum! Oh yeah, like the curry does really well with like okra and other vegetables that yeah. soak up yeah. the curry. Like potato, and tofu. tofu. Uh, you make, you basically make like your own curry soup. And we need to put some noodles in this one. Yeah. Mm. Put the mm. lettuce in there too. Yeah. Put everything in there. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have like a, a tip for eating hot pot? So yeah. these are some hacks. 
hacks. Yeah, hot pot Explain hacks. Explain the Yakult one. So the Yakult one, when you drink it before having hot pot, it like coats your inner stomach. I've heard that. And so when you eat something really spicy, it kind of just passes through easier. Boop. I heard of this one, but I'm not sure if it's true. So I heard you're not supposed to put leafy vegetables into the hot, hot one, hot one because it absorbs the oil. Another one of my tips is to wear a really baggy t-shirt okay. so you can keep eating. Okay. The one thing that you shouldn't do is what I'm doing right now is wear this light color top. And I'm sitting in front of a spicy pot too. I'm gonna go like in with the stuffed jalapeno. Yeah, Cheers, Miam. No, Cheers. Wait, you ate that, it already? Yeah. I'm not a fan of okra. Because it's very And it's like and slimy. slimy. Mm. The okra is great. This one, I feel like you need the curry. See, this mm. is so much fun. I this... feel like I'm just... Look at that. Okay. Yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, put it in, put it in. Oh, Woo. look at that. You crap killer. Bye-bye, little shrimp. <laughs> Can someone eat blood? No, nah, I'm, okay. I'm okay with that. You want some blood? Yes. The tomato broth I is feel so like good. I need to stand up. I can't... Reach my full potential. Oh, There's this like one. fun element because mm -hmm. you're in control mm. of how you cook it, for mm. how long, what you want in it. Oh my god. The fish fillet in the tom yum. I have oh, it here. Yum. <laughs> if I asked you to tell me which fish ball was which, could you do it? Heck no. I'll put more. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the first time I'm not eating hot pot with any Without sauce. Without sauce. And it's glorious. I think that's a real true test if the place is good or not. How fresh are the ingredients? Yeah. How well do they slice them? And how good is the soup? If I could eat the things without sauce... That's true. I think that that's a top-notch place. I don't feel like we're eating as much oil as dry pot. That's why I feel like I can eat more. Dry pot definitely, like, it's, it wasn't enveloped in oil, but it was oily. When you're at hot pot, it's and, like, I eat so much. Yeah, you get little you dishes. Like you're eating in small amounts, yeah. and then yeah. you end up eating more. Yeah, yeah. Bogies. Oh, no. <laughs> and also another. Oh, oh, I can't believe it. So we have watercress. Tong hao, which is my favorite vegetable. And lettuce. Then, like, oh, my god. These um, are really good. No, this is awesome. Mm. Dude. Yeah. It's like crispy so chicken skin, crazy. but it's not. Yeah. Yeah. How much of all this spread do you think we can finish? With you here, everything. I mean, if we have like four hours, I could do it. Do That's also how that? you're supposed to enjoy hot pot. You like eat, and then you rest a little. And you you're taking that. It like reiterates the fact that this is like a fun enjoying thing to do with friends and family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you wouldn't come here and just have a bowl by yourself. I bit into this hoping there was something inside. I just did the same thing! <laughs> there's nothing more disappointing than being like, oh, there's nothing in here. Ah, oh, the wrong one. I did it. So which one is it then? Are you oh, sure? Oh yeah! <laughs> you slimy little bowl. Moment of truth. Oh, yes, I, I feel like yes, it is. <gasps> it's it. Jackpot. <gasps> Triumph. Oh, we no. got there in yes. the end. Got it. Oh, I, I got it. it. Oh, <laughs> we haven't oh, tried that put, spinach noodle. Got put the, okay, so this is spinach linguine looking noodle. The herbal pot became <laughs> red because of the crab. Oh, try the, try the soup okay. now. Oh, I can smell the shrimp and crab. Oh yeah, it's sweet. Yeah. You know what we should have done? We should have put the crab in here too. Oh, oh yeah, because Tom Yum has a lot of seafood. Okay. Here, crabby, crabby, crabby. Come here, you little crab. What is this? It's the... Oh, it's Felicia's oh. lettuce. No, 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 no. <laughs> what is this? It's not... <laughs> my Put the lettuce in there too. Yeah. Do you like... want some veggies? No. Oh, that's so sweet. She peeled it. You have to eat it. You have to eat it Don't now. Don't break my gloss. Do you hot. want? Do you want? Wait, yeah. try the noodles. Try the noodles. They're delicious. The, the Don't believe noodles. me? Ask the dishes. Try the gray stuff. It's yeah. delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. As you can tell, Dan's really excited for Beauty and the Beast. No, I'm so excited. Well, at least I got to see you. One last time. Cry. Like, don't say that. Don't talk like that. Cry. <laughs> and then he's like, no, I love you. I love you. Cry. Cry. Yeah. Lay, give me your bowl. <laughs>
bist das ganz genaue Gegenteil von klug. <lacht> Hältst dich für hip und das ist dir schon genug. <lacht> Don't put that part in there. <lacht> the beef in the tomatoes is like wo song tang. Porsche soup. Tomatoes, potatoes, cabbage. It's like Chinese version of Porsche. Wo song tang? Pork yeah, I know bone base. I, I like how I'm trying stuff that I normally don't try at hot pot. Because I feel like when I go to hot pot, I'm just in my hot pot mode. So it's like stuff I know I like. All right, guys, so huge success. We made it to both places. We're showing you guys the differences, and I feel like we've saved the best hot pot place like, for yeah, the video. Yeah, definitely. Blowing my mind. Which ones and are your favorite broth? The curry, the tom yum, and the tomato. I want to just yeah. drink. That. Yeah. For okay. me, I like this one, the Tom Yum's, yep. uh, Mala, mm. and the original the one original actually is yeah. really good. They so just don't uh, eat. Don't, don't eat for eat. like two days. Seriously. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a bit about hot pot and dry pot. Yep. And we think this one is more like family friend fun. Yeah. Um, whereas the other one you can enjoy alone as well. And make sure you check out both places that we visited because they're the bomb. Yeah. All right. We'll we're gonna continue next eating. Video. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get out. See you later. And we're gonna continue eating. Goodbye. Bye.